this is our attempt to change the world through a film. It's a, it's a film project about five characters from five countries who wants to collaborate to start a new country on a boat. Part fiction, part documentary. The fiction part where we follow the story of those five characters representing people from different religions, different um, looks and genders, collaborating to start a new country, start a new... <laughs> we have some uh, creative people in the house. The documentary is the largest collection of human wisdom on earth. We interview people from Barack Obama to Michelle Obama to homeless dude to different, you know, we ask people to get their cameras and interview people, ask them questions like, what do you want to see in a new country? How can we fix this country? How can we fix your country? How can we make sure that countries do not go wrong? And by doing so, we're showing people how we are the same, we want the same stuff, and at the same time, we show people, we give people solutions, like actionable solutions that they can use today. And of course, we're gonna implement this in our new country or city. So, I have here I'm Mohamed al Borno, and this is Duke, and this is Jim, and this is Alex, and this is amazing Matthias. I mean, they're all amazing, and you guys are amazing, by the way. This is obviously an idea that I've thought of, and that, I guess, establishing a country or new civilization on a boat. Um, not necessarily a boat, but I think that this is a, there's a growing discontentment among adults, and especially the younger generation, with the way things are run, where people realize that they buy things, and they're feeling more and more empty, and it's not filling this hole, and that... Everybody's kind of pessimistic about the future. We think our children are going to live worse lives than we did. And I think there's this sort of understanding between people that they would rather live in a more cooperative world. And so that's something I'd put a lot of thought into. And it turns out Bjorno and I have had the exact same idea about what to do about this. I think that's just a, like a solid idea is to sort of experiment and show that people around the world want this and that a cooperative future is possible because the biggest bar barrier to possibility is belief. And if we can establish possibility, then that's the first step in the right direction. I'll touch up on the fact that People are buying a lot of stuff these days. Everyone's chasing money. And what they forgot is that uh, community and people is actually what's at the end of the day going to make somebody happy. And there was another documentary done, and it doesn't matter where you come from around the world, but if you have family and friends who are essentially like family, <laughs> you are going to be much happier, and it doesn't matter how much you bring in, but, you know, the basic, basic uh, necessities of life. To touch on that, like, I've traveled quite a bit and the happiest people I've ever seen in the entire world were these like natives in Fiji who had never even seen Caucasians before. I was on like a mission in some remote island and they were so poor and they had like energy for like two hours a day but they're the happiest people. They don't lock their doors, let their kids go out at night, all the friends with all their neighbors and it was just like beautiful and that helped show me that capitalism is not necessarily what's going to be making people the happiest. I'd like to touch on these as well in terms of the opposite of capitalism it's not necessarily socialism I'm not a financial expert but you know some people say oh the opposite you know the world is changing to some people said this like a few years ago the world is changing to you know uh, evil and good um, and this is not really good like this is not just diverse putting people in just two like polars is not good so the opposite of capitalism is not necessarily socialism the opposite of capitalism I mean, we kind of, <laughs> communism, it, it's, a, it's, in we kind of like, yeah, we were building, we were building this new thing that you don't, we don't really have a name for it. And of course, uh, we, we apologize, it's hybrid, and we apologize for you who just love naming things. We don't have put labels, and labels is kind of like, pff, put titles on us and limits us. If we don't have labels, we're just like free to think and we're free to collaborate. But once we have labels like, oh, I'm a capitalist, oh, I'm a socialist or communist or whatever, then we start fighting. But we don't like just eliminate labels in terms of either, you know, Christian, Muslim, Jew or white or black or, or yellow or what? Oh, just human. Just human. This is my amazing angel, Matthias. He changed my life. <laughs> we're going to get back to him in a second here. Uh, so, so, yeah, so we're building this. It doesn't, it's a new um, movement. It's a social it's the sharing economy. It's the things that you already been doing with with this, those amazing apps that like things like the couch surfing project and things like encourage people to share. And uh, it's not it's not it's not something bad. It's a good thing, and we are working towards making it happen. We have here Alex. Well, I also came to the project as of I guess this morning um, <laughs> when Mohammed just came in and he was like, I was thinking about what we were talking about last night and. Um, then we started talking about how kind of we have this mutual frustration that a lot of people are a lot of talk and we all kind of want change, but nobody's doing anything about it. 
Um, and I've quit several jobs and gotten a lot of trouble in college and stuff because I was, my brother and myself, um, were a little notorious for actually taking action rather than just like saying anything. So this very much resonates with me and I like the idea of actually like not just, it's, as I was explaining to Muhammad that it was like Occupy was a lot of like screaming and yeah, and a lot of talking and some action that was a step forward, but now it's time to really like if we're gonna make a difference and we we have to fucking do something. <laughs> it's an open debate. It is, <laughs> and uh, by what I'm talking, so we can share this one as a symbol of sharing. <laughs> it's kind of messy because cooperativeness. Of... Exactly. <laughs> do you want to show your, uh, your unwrapping of it? Oh, My unwrapping. Yeah, this is a symbol. Of, you know, sure is. We appreciate different cultures and <laughs> and different body parts and exactly. gender. Exactly, and then. To not get too adult, but yeah, it's a symbol of the fala, the, and the symbol of the elephant. <coughs> so in, we're teaching people to see similarities, not like differences. Like I have long hair, but I put it up, so I look more similar to the dudes now. But I can also <laughs> take it out, and look more like a girl. Woo! So sometimes you can find the feminine inside of you, you can find the more male parts of you, and just find the similarities between the communities is good. So in practice, we have a sailing boat. And I could probably buy two tickets for people to Sweden and have a sailing boat for 100 feet. So I like to be practical about community. And I know the best way to develop community is doing things together, like traveling together. We've been traveling for four or three weeks together. And we just commune, like mine. You've been like living kind of together for a long time. You know the war, love, feelings. <laughs> and just doing that is much more fun than just living a lonely single life. Yeah. So, I'm ready for whatever shit will happen. <laughs> Important piece missed, like when you're talking about this project, when we, we discussed it last night, was um, we're going to start off with a documentary. I think it's really important to kind of get like a good feel across the world with all, all the different types of people. Be like, what do you like about your country now? Ah. What is missing? And what, would, what do you like about other countries? And what would you do to change? If you saw a perfect world, like what would it incorporate? And we have to have prepared surveys and then we'll do some fun street shots and we'll take it all apart and we'll put it together. And then I say we move into this fictional story that captures everything that we got from around the world from all these different people. And then we make this story, we make this world that exists and how it would look. And then we buy a big barge and then we start a new, we get MTV involved, we get somebody to do a reality <laughs> television yeah, show yeah. and then we see... Okay, here's how we imagine it happening, and let's see what really happens. Let's see what dynamics actually create people, and how does it change. And when we see the human ego, and everything that will get in yeah. the way of community, and see like what are the aspects. If we take away money, if we take away some kind of commerce, yeah. if we make it transparent through something like Bitcoin, like let's test out this model a couple of times and see how it goes to the to the serendipitous uh, what's utopia. the word Nirvana utopia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that is very. <laughs> <laughs> and, I th and I think we can build up a very strong following yeah. just by these, these talks right here and getting our plans and crowdsourcing and then traveling around the country. Maybe at some point we split yeah. and we like have our own particular areas and I'm going to get wow. really animated here. Yeah, go for it, bro. But I mean, I, I think when you really sold me in like five seconds is because when I was going to become a billionaire is when I was going to start my own country and I was going to start my own little water world because when it comes down to it, a lot of this I got from Sex at Dawn. Um, but... <laughs> It's community, like we, we've become so large and we've become so isolated that even though we're around people every day, we're all strangers and we all have to protect ours. And we really lost those lines of like what is ours and what's together. And our tribal system is just fucked up and I'm allowed to swear in this? I don't know, but uh, I'm good because I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, BG-13, I guess, minimum. But um, no, I, when I saw this developing in my head very quickly off just a couple of words, we've all kind of been at this situation. And it does come through action, but I think our actions first should be planned. Kind of make this movement, get people to step up and see and have some fun with it. And then see if we can ever effectively, without anarchy, destroy what <laughs> most countries and our governments are already doing. Because they're not going to let this get out of control. Like, the last thing our government wants to do is lose control. Yeah. Like you said, if there's a boat or some sovereign land, even like actual land if we could document it and prove to the world like this way of living works and they can see it and live it and we could like quantitatively measure like who's happier, who has more food, who's more productive and like get all these metrics on it, then it, it's going to be kind of one of those things. Experiment. Yeah. My plan was actually, if you've seen Waterworld, like have like a big 
carrier ship where you can really have like a thousand people perfect and these ships just kind of float around and they meet up with each other they have like a big festival kind of mix a little bit good for the gene pool and then they separate again and when there's wow. population too big we start another carrier wow. <laughs> i mean i had this in my head i would like to do it but um that's beautiful can I, can I, can I <laughs> Well, well, yeah, I mean, it's sacred, though. This kind of, like, reproductive thing is sacred, as per our, our also director, Swiss director, Lawrence, who's not with here with us. She's in Long Beach. Okay, here's the thing, is that there's so many guys, there's so many projects out there, there's so many people who believe the same thing as, as Jim and Juke and Alex and uh, Matthias and me, and, uh, and we need to... We need to unite. We need to collaborate. You know, like Braveheart when he was talking to people, unite us, unite the class. <laughs> <laughs> and like the I guess movement, the Venus Project, the Seasteading Institute. You know us, Joe Kirk. You're awesome, and you're doing amazing things. You're going to LA. We need to talk to you. And Max Mori, the the amazing visionary who started Blue Seed. We need to collaborate. We all want the same thing. We need to collaborate and unite and make this happen because it's beautiful and because the world needs this. And we ask you as well for your contributions, whether it's actually f money, which is kind of... But what's important than money, okay? And this is like really has to be clear, is what the money will buy us, okay? And this is Alex's idea. And well, marketing, I think you should say provide us. Provi provide us. Of course, English is not my, in my first language here, but uh, Alex also knows that, and you guys know that. So, what's more important is what money gets, not really what money itself. And this is where we ask you, and this is kind of new, I've never seen this in an Indiegogo project before. We ask you to also contribute by offering us a place to stay for this crew. Uh, a camera, if you have a camera and you can use it, you can film us. Sound equipment, uh, food right? Everything that we actually need to make this happen. It's not money. It's not money. Money is just still there because it's there. So we, sometimes we need to, you know, move we're around. Not looking for a salary. Exactly. We're not looking for a salary. We're not looking for a salary, and we're also going to do this. We're going to have this transparent project, transparent, transparent policy. We'll have this on newcountry.org or we, we tree? We tree. Or we tree. We still like also we need to revote on we tree. Yeah, we three or new country or some or citizenship. We need your votes as well. But anyways, we'll have this. Anyways, sorry guys, we uh, creative people are ADD a bit, but it's good to be. Uh, you know, uh, that's why I quit the corporate world too, so that I, I join like the amazing people. So, so, so the point is, we'll have a list. We'll have a list of things that we want. Like Alex called it the wish list, and this list is like very finite, like to the details of what we really need. Crews, uh, like accommodation and food. And we have an open list and you can share this list and you can say, I can offer you this item on this list. Okay, you can write your name. It's gonna be on newcountry.org slash list. We'll, we'll, you know, just, just check this, just check the, you know, underneath the text of the Indiegogo, you'll find this. But you have this list where if you can offer something for this nonprofit collective project, and uh, if you're a lawyer, if you're a marketer, we're building a new country, we're building a new you know, community, and we need your help, is that to make sure that this project is good, we, it's a collective thing. So there's no power vested in him or her or him or, or me. It's a collective, and the collective conscious is beautiful. The collective conscious cannot agree on a bad thing. It's a peaceful project. It's a positive project. If you hear like some silly jokes, sometimes I will do, say it, sometimes James will say it. We, we will, like, it's just like jokes. And the collective conscious will just prevail and we make sure that you know, we're, this product stays a good project. I also need your help, it's a collective thing, so we need people, we need ideas, we need you to put your ideas out there, you know, counter your, your, your counter mind thoughts, give us your true minds, true mind thoughts on what you would like to see in a new country, how can we make this, uh, how can we make this further, how can we uh, reach out to people, how can we overcome million, millions of dollars of budgets, so we, yeah, we want to show people that our collective, our collective, collective here, our collection, with your help, we can overcome big budgets. When we talk about planning this out, think about all the conversations and the debates that are going to happen from this. We talk about one point and there's going to be maybe a <laughs> hundred different yeah. positions and then we have to decide at the end of the day like what our ship, you know, years from now, whenever we get yeah. to that point, is yeah. going to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is... But we all have a common goal that we're going towards, and that's yeah, change. But, and so as long as we keep that as the focus, we can make decisions based on I understand wanting that. to see that change. I think I'm saying there's going to be a whole lot of planning course, that's going to go that's into this. Man, life is that way. Yeah. yeah. I get that. I'm Family just saying, I'm, I'm just curious if everybody else is we thinking, like, a how... We for you, Jim, so we can lock you up. <laughs> Trust me, we will need <laughs> We're going to have a prison? No, just a gym. Wow, See, I'm, I'm all for execution. <laughs> <laughs> just get rid of problems. We need a gym on the road. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay, why why did we... you like... Just let's be positive. <laughs> <laughs>